Hi guys, this is Nate from Reach 3D Printers doing a little demonstrational video here of speeds. What we have is a 100 millimeter in diameter cylinder. It is hollowed out. We are doing 100 millimeters a second with the feed rate at 100% as you can see at the very bottom of the screen. You see the clock in the background so this is a real time video. That means that the circumference is 314 millimeters in a circle. So you could time it and say it should take about 3.14 seconds to get all the way around the circle. Alright, so what we're going to do is demonstrate some speeds here. I'm going to increase the feed rate and show what this is capable of. And we are at 125%. So that should be 125 millimeters a second. It was running at 100, but we brought it up to 125. Now, I only claim to do right at 60 to 100, depending on the layer height and the thickness of the walls. This is still a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. And I increased the flow rate just a tiny bit. I'm running at 110 centigrade just to make sure that we got plenty of flow. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move it on up to 150. I will have a shot after this is done showing the final results. Now I also, for the most part, I like to demonstrate the actual cantilever arm. If you notice, it's pretty solid. It's uh, not wobbling or jumping around. Definitely hanging in there nice and solid. Now at different speeds, you're going to have different results. But this should be a good example. I'm getting a little bit of jittering going on. It's not too bad. We can go ahead and take this up a little higher. I'm at about 161 millimeters a second. Now the jittering in the bed is actually the steppers trying to accurately position it. Now they're going to have a magnetic field that gets compressed slightly, so you're going to lose accuracy at these kind of speeds. Um, a little bit, for sure. But this printer isn't really designed to push into 200 millimeters a second or even 160. But I just wanted to demonstrate its limits. So we're at 161 millimeters a second. Let's take it on up. That looks about like 175. Oop, a little over. There's 175. We're definitely getting some shaking. But it is, as you notice, the cantilever arm is definitely solid and in position. It's, it's not wobbling up and down. There's just not enough weight to make any difference there. Um, now if I increase the current to the stepper drivers underneath there, under the table, um, you could probably get a little more stability, but you're also running the risk of the stepper drivers heating up. The motor shouldn't heat up because the aluminum plates that make up the frame act like a massive heat sink. Same with the 2020-2040 extrusions. Um, heat shouldn't be a problem unless you really crank up the current to the stepper drivers, which I'll preset those so that they're in a safe limit. Um, let's go ahead and push into 200 and just see what happens. We might get a skip here, but I don't think we're going to. There's 190. And there's 200. Now, you'll be able to see the the difference in the texture and that comes from vibrations so 
yeah, you're getting a little bit of something going on. But, again, this is really designed at to max out at about 100. Um, I hope this was a pretty good demonstration, an honest one. I just wanted to really show you guys this in live action. Um, just to demonstrate what you can expect to achieve. And I kind of want to just keep pushing this thing and see at which point we start having issues. I think there are 24 sides to this cylinder. That's why you're seeing the faceted edges there. Let's just take it up to 230, 240. To 50. <clears throat> Still hanging in there pretty good. Why not? Let's push into 275. <laughs> So this is 300 millimeters a second print speeds. I have eliminated any slowdown from layer time. You, there are settings that you can tell the printer to slow down if it doesn't complete the layer in a certain amount of time. So those have been eliminated, so this is actual speed. Alright, let's take it up 350, see what happens. Actually, I am pushing the limits of it. Um, I think what's occurring at this point, I'm not going to be able to get any faster because even if I really crank it up, I mean, I'm at 500. It's not changing because of something called acceleration deceleration. So that's going to limit what it's actually going to going to do. So if I take this down slowly, we can find out what the max speed was that we reached. Oh, I heard a drop in sound. There's a little drop in sound there. So it looks like about 200 is probably about what we reached. Yeah, at 183 I can hear a reduction in the pitch and then anything over that is irrelevant so we're at 200 basically or right at this is 200 millimeters a second um, and those features are in there the acceleration deceleration so that you don't have what's called like maximum jerk it doesn't change direction too quickly and overpower the the motors and cause them to jump steps so well this is 200 it was a good demonstration of that at very least all right guys well thanks for uh taking the time to watch this i hope you enjoyed it i will make sure and get a nice clean photograph of the print when it's completed um you can see that little change in layers and that was at a hundred i'll go ahead and drop this back down to a hundred and show you what it what I recommend printing out for nice and clean results. That's the speed I recommend. So it should take 3.14 seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. So you can see how it returned back to zero. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. So 300 millimeters. Um, I guess I could demonstrate the actual dimensions of this, but just uh, that way you know it's actually a hundred millimeters in diameter. I don't know if that's really that important to anybody, but it is a basis for the actual speeds that you're seeing. So this is basically a calipers set to what should be right at the diameter, and so this is specifically a hundred. 
All right. Well, there you go, guys. Circumference of 314 millimeters, 100 millimeters a second is my recommended speed. It can be pushed higher than that, but you want some some pretty clean results, smooth results, and um, I think you guys will be really happy. I mean, this is a really nice printer. It's high components. There's very smooth motion. Um, you guys are going to love it. And I'd like to thank you guys again for supporting and backing the Reach 3D Printer project. It's going to be super cool. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.